going on this is just a quick video about uh, indoor antennas or uh, window side antennas balcony antennas uh, antennas in a area if you live in a HOA or if you uh, just in a space where you can't really put up a, a roof or a top side antenna this antenna right here is an MFJ 1668 this is the big one uh, you can slide it up, slide it down. This is how you tune it. And uh, down here, there's a wing nut. Tighten that wing nut to keep it on the uh, the band of your choosing. This is kind of a big one. This one here, I guess, stands like maybe about uh, three feet, or maybe two feet, three feet tall, something like that. And then you screw in this um, telescopic whip. Over here is the same. This is a 1664, a little smaller. And it uh, does the same. I painted them black. I think they look cool like this. And um, here is the coax. Right here to this wing nut at the very bottom. You take your, your center coax right here. You, type it, you tap it there. You take the spring this is a spring right here. You take that uh, matching coil and at the top your hot lead go and at the bottom your, uh, your braided go and uh, this here will go here and the other part will come down to your braided and then you just have like about a 20 foot or 30 foot long counterpoise wire and uh, She's good to go. Right here, this box you see is an artificial ground. Uh, this is good for like indoor operation. Antenna like, uh, for example, if you had to put your antenna up in the window, uh, I'll give you a little demonstration. If you had to put your antenna slightly up in the window, like so, like that, and uh, of course with a whip, or you, uh, a trick that I found out, you could take a wire and uh, put up in there in that top piece and open up the top window and just let it hang outside the window and you uh, take your counterpoise and you throw it out the window. That's a fire escape window that you see. You drop the counterpoise down on the side and um, you're on the air and it works out just fine. And uh, again, this is an MFJ... Uh, what is this? I think it's a 931. Uh, yes, it's a 931 artificial ground. Okay. And, um, but I haven't yet used that. I bought it just in case. Uh, what I do use is the, uh, the tuning, my tuners. I have an MFJ 989D and an MFJ 969. And these two tuners here work very good. Uh, you know those young girls that be walking around with the big earrings in their ears? Uh, you could probably tune those earrings for 160 meters with this thing. <laughs> That's a joke that I had always said. But anyway, um, it works. These uh, are my backups, my backup plans. I have an MFJ uh, 1661, but that's in South Carolina at my other QTH, and it's on a magnet mount. It works very well with my uh, H17 that I have and a 25 and 50 watt uh, little 10 meter amplifier. And that works out just, just fine. Here uh, are some other whips that I have here. Uh, some other backup whips uh, for the other end. Uh, this is the biggest long one. This one here stands almost as tall as a second story apartment building. And... Um, that works very well. And I got my coax. That's my coax right there. And that will be going with me uh, to South Carolina very soon. And uh, over there and here, I have my bag all prepped and ready. And inside this bag, you see, is my, uh, my 817. She's all wrapped up. And... Uh, ready to go. Here's the 817. Okay. 
So 817 wiring. Uh, we have some uh, the antennas. We have the microphone. We have everything in here all prepped and ready to go. HF antenna, extendable HF antenna, and so far. But anyway, this is about the uh, MFJ uh, 1661 and the 1664 and the 1668 antenna. Any, in, any other questions, uh, you can feel free to leave a comment. Uh, another good antenna, you could probably use a, 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 what do you call it, antenna, one of those circle antenna type of thingies there. Uh, I guess you want to call it a cubicle. Um, but anyway, there's antennas you can use. And uh, with this antenna, this is for HF and 6 meters you could deal with. It's also to tune it up on two meters. Um, the best antenna for you to get is a uh, for for six meter, two meter, and four forty is a, um, a SB fifteen from Comet SB fifteen antenna. That's a good one. Um, I have uh, for my upstairs top side. I have a GP fifteen, and I have an Antron ninety nine. And with those tuners you saw, I could tune my Antron 99 very comfortably down to 20 meters. No problem. This antenna right here with the tuner, it uh, matches up very good down on 40. But you can uh, use that tuner to tune this ba uh, baby down on uh, 75 and also down to 160. I even tuned this down to 160. And um, there was a couple of guys talking, and uh, I asked, is this frequency in use? And they came back to me. One fellow was up near Niagara Falls. The other fellow was down by... Uh, Delaware, so, and that was in the window, just like this, uh, when I had my setup in the other room, so, these antennas are, are great, and uh, for the guys on 11 meters, uh, you may not put out a big signal, but if you want to just talk to your local guys, or, you know, your buddies, or whatever, your local buds, this is what you need right here, 73s, all the best, you have yourself a great one, and uh Hope to hear you on the air. This is uh, Mark K2CSX. And uh, we'll talk at you later. Ciao.